I just did my makeup how I used to do my makeup back in the day. Back in the day when I was young. <laughs> I have just been feeling so icky about myself lately. I don't know if I was talking about it in a vlog. Like I haven't worked out in a long time. Well, I ran the past two days, so I'm really happy and proud of myself about that. But when you become a mom, you just don't have the time for moms out there get it like your time just goes to shit and even when you do have time to yourself you're not like glamming yourself like i used to do makeup for fun if you watched my videos back in like boca and tampa i used to do makeup looks all the time and i used to like recreate makeup looks and i was really really into makeup i'm a very artistic person i love art it's very therapeutic to me and the last time i did a full face of makeup like this was I can't even remember. I'm always rushing to get my makeup done because I'm going somewhere or I'm doing like half the amount of makeup that I was like used to wearing. I took my time today. I had time because um, I have something I have to shoot. I'm sick. So if I sound stuffy and nasally, that's why. I don't even know. I feel like my old self right now and I feel very like confident. It's the NARS concealer, which I have not touched since I had Sky. Like I've only ever used more natural concealers. Which that one's still very natural, but I just feel like it has a lot more coverage. And I feel like I look so young and like my old self. And I like almost want to cry, but I don't want to cry my makeup off because I was just getting so down about myself lately. Doing my makeup today reminds me of like my old self. Like I have music on. I push my brows up. I used to always push my brows up and I like never do that anymore. I didn't use foundation, which I've been using foundation for some reason because I feel like it's faster. But when I really take my time on like contouring and everything else, I feel like it all blends together and I don't need foundation. So that's what I did today. I used um, the Flawless Filter on the high points of my cheeks. I haven't touched this in years. NARS Creamy Concealer, haven't touched this in years. I used the Charlotte Tilbury Stick, which I also never use this anymore at all. So I think I'm gonna go back to these products. I really love this Dior foundation, but it's a little dark for me right now, so I wanted to switch it up and I got these old products out of my little, like I keep this bin with like good makeup that doesn't match me at the moment in that closet. And I dug through that and like did all my old products. So anyways, if you feel like your makeup hasn't been sitting right, go back to like what you used to love at one point in your life when you loved your makeup routine and see if that does it for you. Because for me, I feel so good. We'll get this stuff shot, and then we'll continue on the day. To finish some stuff up later. Um, and I thought, I might as well start a vlog because I feel really inspired. Whenever I have a really long working morning, I feel so inspired to just pick up the camera. And I wish I would've started it earlier. Well, I did start it earlier, but I wish I would've like kept vlogging. The morning but my brain can only do so much so anyways i'm making some breakfast right now i'm gonna make some avocado toast just because i haven't eaten yet it's like 1 p.m and i feel like i'm gonna pass out i'm so sick not so sick i just have a cold and it's been lingering and it's so annoying i like don't have a voice and so sorry if it's nasally and horrible in this vlog but um uh, I just have a lot of exciting things to show you. There's my toast. Okay, there's so many weird nostalgic things happening today. I'm making avocado toast on, what is my toaster on? On this bread that I picked up at Trader Joe's because I used to eat it from uh, the Ezekiel bread. I have not had Ezekiel bread in years also. Like I think the last time I bought it, I lived in Tampa. Like I have not eaten this bread in so long. So. I'm making some avocado toast. We've, we're making lifestyle changes right now. If you heard me talking about how I hadn't worked out in a really long time, I've just been in a major slump. Woman cave era where I've just been like in the house, not going through it. I've been okay. I've just been like very busy with Sky. I run her all around town, all her different things that we signed her up for. Playing with her friends, like the second she sees her friends outside, like she's begging me. She's begging me to go outside and go play and, you know, having a toddler is just a lot different than having a baby. And I'm going to be completely honest, 
I am not the mom that was like obsessed with the baby era. Like I look back and I like get sad and I cry because she's just like so big and it happened in the blink of an eye. But this age, you guys, is my favorite so far. And I say that every time she gets older. I'm like, this age is my favorite. This age is my favorite. I don't know why, but I just feel, I just feel like I'm meant to be like a high school, middle school mom. Which I don't want to rush that, obviously, but I just like am very excited for all of the phases of my kids' lives and like of Sky's life. Um, which makes it really fun because I never look back and am like, I wish that I was there again, which I'm that way in my life too. Like I am always excited for what's to come. Like Brent and I were talking about retirement the other day and we were just like getting so excited. Obviously I don't want to rush that. Like I don't want to be retired <laughs> right now and like 60 years old, but we, uh, I don't know. I just really love living in the present and like loving each phase of life but anyways what i'm getting at is that like her baby years were not my prime as a mom at all like i could not wait for there's my avocado toast so i'm gonna do a little bit of salt and some everything like all keeping it simple today because i want to run across town before traffic gets bad some balsamic glaze as well yummy Mmm. Guy is so animated and funny. Like, she just makes me laugh all day. I just love having a toddler. It's like my favorite thing in the world. Although I love having a toddler and it's my favorite phase, it also does not allow me to have any me time whatsoever because when I have me time, I'm working. Or like when I have time to myself, I'm putting it into work. So obviously I feel like you guys, I know my vlogs have been very scatterbrained. Like they've been very random and i used to upload twice a week and then i was uploading if i went more than seven days i like felt horrible and now it's like you know i'm trying my best but there's definitely areas in my life that i think i need to allow myself to accept help and one of those things being like keeping my house clean i don't need to be scrubbing my floors every week when that time could be put towards something that I love, you know? I recently hired house cleaners, which was like heaven sent. These ladies were legit heaven sent. They knocked on my mom's door. My mom, this is all because of my mom. Like I would have never sought out house cleaners because I just have always done everything myself. You guys know how I am. If you want something done right, do it yourself. But I just can't be like as picky as I once was with the way that my house looks. And I love putting time and care into my home and it's really hard when it's constantly being messed up by a busy husband, a busy my life, and a busy toddler. So I just like we gave up the reins and I'm like, oh. if it's in your budget to do it, house cleaners, oh my god. Oh my god. They're my saving grace. I don't even know how I was doing it without them. So I've had them every two weeks for about, well, they've come like three or four times. So like close to two months, life changing. <laughs> so it's little things like that, that I'm like, I feel like I'm finally getting myself back because my mom's out there that can relate to this. I feel like once your kids get to a certain age, my life is spent cooking, cleaning and running her around, which I love. I love, I love, I love. I couldn't be more thankful but the time that i have for myself and for work is just non-existent so with that being said i have now had more time to do things like sign up for a workout or go for a run or do my makeup because i haven't put makeup on in who knows how long so that's been really nice just the little things in life i'm just so appreciative i need to make my bed really fast because i left this morning in a hurry and it looks like that but it reminded me i wanted to talk to you guys about my mattress i recently posted us getting this new mattress and i set it all up and i had so many questions like what mattress we got and it's from helix 
and uh, Helix actually sent us this mattress. We're so excited. Brent and I, we were gonna test, we were just gonna test it out to see if we loved it better than the mattress that we already have and we love. And the mattress we have and already love is from a company that is no longer a company and it's just one of those boxed mattresses that are like memory foam, which are amazing. And I'm a stomach sleeper, he's a back sleeper. And we really love firm, but the best thing about Helix is you can take a sleep quiz and it'll pair you with the perfect mattress. So I took the sleep quiz. I ended up picking this. This is the Dawn. Our mattress is like so hard to compete with. We love our mattress. So when we got this one, we were like, let's sleep on it a couple nights and uh, we can always put this one in the guest room because our guest room is also a king bed and we'll just flop them. Our first night of sleep, Brent was like, no. I'm sorry, we're keeping this mattress down here in our room. And I was like, I loved it too, but I'm not as picky as he is about mattresses. So I was like, oh my gosh, like really? So then I slept on it and for like an entire week, I noticed my traps. My traps are always sore because I'm a stomach sleeper. So my head is like completely cocked every night. And I just have been waking up feeling so good. I also got the aura ring, you guys, which I'm gonna talk to you more about this month but it has my sleep score has never been better like i have been sleeping so good on this you guys have to check them out they have a 100 night trial so if you don't love it you can send it back um which i think is so important because a mattress you should absolutely love like you spend what is it a third of your life or something crazy in your mattress and or in bed so I really think that you should love it and Helix will help you do that by taking the free sleep quiz and figuring out what you need. In November, they're having a massive sale, which is why I waited to talk to you guys about it until now because I have had this mattress for a couple months, but they're having 20% off of everything. Um, if you visit the URL down in the description box, uh, you'll get 20% off plus two free pillows. And uh, also I should mention that Helix has a 10 your warranty as well i think that's amazing a mattress should last you a long time it's a good chunk of money it's a good investment and like i said you, you spend so much time on it like you spend more time in this than you do on your couch on your sofa and we like buy all these nice expensive sofas and all these cute chairs and things that it's so worth it to just trust me it's so worth it to get you a new mattress so i love her i'm gonna make my bed up real quick it's like the first day in a long time that I got up and didn't make my bed right away because I always make it like first thing, but we were rushing off to gymnastics this morning, so. My bedroom, you guys, let me just explain since I have so many random thoughts on my freaking bedroom. Like, I understand I would never pick this color for a bedroom, even though I absolutely love this color and I think it's so cozy, like it's absolutely one of the coziest colors ever and i really do love this room when it's all put together but oh my god the amount of dms and comments i got when i posted the room how depressing it is good thing you don't have to sleep in here during the day you still get a dark vibe in here if you want to come in here and watch a movie since the tv's in here but this used to be our den this was not intended to ever be our room again and that's why it's so dark i would have never picked this for a bedroom but it is what it is i love 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 a monochromatic room my favorite whether it's like an all white room or an all taupey room i just think it's so cozy peaceful is the word i'm looking for because there's not too many distractions in here you just come in here and melt into this cave i we all love it sky gets so snuggly in here and watches her little shows that night and i don't even know you sleep in your bedroom it's like very sensual and sexy and cozy and i love it okay made brent get all of the christmas decor out of the attic because i'm completely terrified of our attic. Our attic is massive. I'm literally scared to open this. Our attic is massive, you guys. It's this huge room. I really want to finish it one day and if we stay in this house and make it a playroom because look at the ceiling. Uh, the ceiling is like a really pretty, it's a really pretty pitched ceiling. There's a cute window. 
it's really, really big. And I just think it would be the perfect playroom. But I'm terrified to go in there because we had a wasp nest in there. And he sprayed it, but there was like a couple lingering. So I made him take all the Christmas decor out. And I just have it in the guest room right now. I found these chairs, vintage shopping, and I am freaking out. I think they're so cute. They're like this really pretty wicker. This has come in handy so many times already, and I love it. I usually have it flipped around so that you can watch the TV. Okay, I just pulled up to Joanne Fabrics. This is Sky's Halloween costume. Um, I'm also making a TikTok, so if you see that first, I'm. Well, it's a lot quicker on TikTok. I'm gonna explain more what I'm thinking on here, but this is the Halloween costume. It's flounder. It's so freaking cute, but it's very like cheapy. And like, obviously it's a Halloween costume. It doesn't need to be like whatever, but I just feel like I can make it so much better by like adding some more tool on the back. And then I want to get some, see if they have a ribbon to match this exactly to put in her hair. I'm going to do like cute yellow or blue bows. And then I want to see if they have this color blue that I can sew onto some socks just to like tie it all together because she's gonna have to wear a yellow t-shirt under this or a yellow long sleeve shirt and tights because it's gonna be cold. So that is what we're trying to do right now. So let's run in and see if we can find what we can find. Okay, I didn't vlog in there, but I found some tool. It's not the right color yellow, but it'll be okay. Um, it's so funny because I just, I'm making a TikTok right now and it just made me think like, how easy it would be to just be a TikToker and like not do YouTube because you always have your phone on you. And like I get nervous to pull my camera out places, but then like I'm recording everything. Oh God, I'm going through red light. Me. No, I didn't. Um, it's so easy to record everything on your phone and just do it from your phone. So I did vlog in there on my phone, but on TikTok. So if you want to go see. But anyways, I'm going to go home. Well, I'm going to go to Chipotle. <laughs> Like, when was the last time I ate Chipotle? Oh my god, if one person remembers, I'm not even gonna say it, but if one person can remember what I'm saying when I say the word Chipotle, guess it down below. If you've been with me for a while, you know you, if you know, you know. It's not even anything specific, it just has to do with Chipotle. Um, and let me know if you remember that time. <laughs> But, yeah, I'm going to Chipotle, so I'm so excited. We have old makeup, old eating habits, old, oh, more, more old eating habits this morning with my toes. Yeah, I'm going to go get that, eat it, and then we're going to go home, and we're going to sew. I haven't gotten my sewing machine out in a really long time, so I'm kind of nervous because I already, like, kind of just fake it till I make it like I'm not really good at sewing like I know how to sew I know how to work my machine but not how I wish I could but it's a Halloween costume like it doesn't need to be perfect so please please where have I been oh my gosh my mouth right now you guys <gasps> I'm like rediscovering life right now. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jessica Howell. Welcome back to my channel. I'm eating Chipotle right now. Whoops. <laughs> I'm just so happy. I'm so high on life. I lost my, uh, what's it called? I lost my little Wu-Tang. What's it called? I didn't know where it went. But I can confirm that I found it in my Chipotle salad. I lost my mojo. Mustering up the energy to sew this Halloween costume. Look who's home. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. Tell us how your day was. It's good. Um, cabbage gymnastics. Oh yeah, that's right. Made my day. Wait, I had to start over because it was blurry, but Brent got to come disguise practice. That would be a normal dad. Made my whole year. Now he's... And then I still got to screen the rest of the day. My eyes are bleeding. And now I'm home. Uh, when the sun's still up, so that's a good day. What, what do you think? 
I think that sounds like a great day. Cheers. You look so tired in the best way possible. I'm so stuffed. What'd you do today? This. <laughs> it's just me sewing. Me sewing. And I made, oh, I'm gonna have a drink too, if you're gonna have a drink. I um, had a productive day of Halloween. Halloween prep. And oh, I wow. got some content done that I was supposed to get done. What am I on? We're gonna be Eric. Decker? Eric from Ariel. and wait for her? Yeah, okay. My dad will probably be here any second. This guy is on her way home from my parents. I can track my dad now. Actually, I turned my, oh, I got chrome powder for my nails. I turned my parents' location on because I have to treat them like they're my children. The other day, my dad went missing and everyone was freaking out. Brent was driving up and down the highway. My brother left, remember this? My brother leaves his apartment is driving like all around town. My mom's frantically crying because she had wine and she couldn't leave the house. So, turns out he was in the driveway talking to the next door neighbor. Like he, he literally got home and was out there for an hour, got held up talking to the neighbor and no one knew where he was and everyone was so stressed. So I was like, that's it. Oh my God, look how big this is. I wanted to get some anti-vaccine. <laughs> that stuff is like... Hold, hold, hold. That's what they have in schools. Yeah, I wanted to switch it out for this. I'm gonna pour this out and put it there. Cause I need it for when I'm like cooking chicken and stuff. I feel like that one doesn't work good. Did you call them today? No. I'll do it tomorrow. I've been busy today. Your eyes are red too. I'm tired. I'm sick. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Okay. Um, so then I was like, that's it. Everyone's location is getting on my phone right now. I don't know. Now my brother, that's a different story. I really want his location for safety reasons. Like if he's at a college party or if he needs me to pick him up and he's too drunk. Like, I don't know. I just really want his location, but he won't share it with me. So, who's this from? I don't know. So that's a whole nother story. I'm still working on that one. And what is this? <gasps> Lululemon? What? Lululemon does PR now? Oh my god. Okay, wonder most. It's like a lot. Oh my god, this stuff feels so comfy. What is this? Okay, we have some super comfy. This sports bra I already know I'm gonna wear every day. Look how thin and lightweight. We have a turtleneck. It's good for running in the winter. A bodysuit. Is this a new fabric? Because I've never felt this before. It feels like wonder. No. Yeah, it feels like Wonder Under, but it's like thinner. So that's so exciting. Thank you, Lululemon. What a dream. We're about to meet everybody outside. I'm just throwing on this little sweater from Jenny Kane. Wow, it's so soft and cozy. It is new. Is it from their new collection? I don't know. But um, I have a coat with Jenny Kane. I'll put it down below. I think it's Jessica S15 stuff ever the best sweaters ever 
and I'm so 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 grateful oh my gosh so grateful to be like working with them now here and there and like getting gifting from them oh my god it's just my favorite ever if I had a brand it would be Jenny Kane's exact like vibe or like the things that they have they have home stuff they have simple clothing that's like very high-end I just love how she does everything yeah you guys have heard me talk Good morning I'm in the process of painting this is not close to being finished but I'm excited yeah. how it's turning out we're painting pumpkins today so I started with this one we yeah. made yeah skeleton babe we made this cute little like super easy one last night when I was drinking some wine and we were hanging out um, with some neighbors <laughs> guys we just woke up well actually i've been up for like three hours i woke up when print left for work this morning at like 4 a.m yeah we we already did we already took a long nap i'm exhausted actually i need to take a nap um and i just got sky all ready for school i'm gonna go drop her off come home get a ton of work done i have to edit and i gotta edit this vlog like right now to go up for you guys so i'm gonna edit this get this up and that's what's gonna be going on today what do you think let's show your outfit oh you look cute today striped dress very good and it's kind of short though because you're so tall like let's stand up and okay. show them uh oh what happened uh oh that's okay don't worry about it. It's no big deal. See, it's really honestly so cute. No worries. No worries. It's from Zara. She just has these long limbs. <laughs> so the dress is kind of short. It's really nice out today, so I don't want, want didn't want her to get too hot. It's gonna be right now it's like 60, but by the time hey. I pick her up it's gonna be 78 like what in the world kind of day is that <laughs> Okay guys, that's it for this vlog. I'm unwinding. I got the bedroom all set up to edit and watch below deck Look at all my little stickies. I wanted to thank you guys because I posted something on Instagram and then I was reading DMs Which I never do. I like DMs can be scary at times, but also they can be like the most positive at times. So I'm not the best with DMs, but I did want to say thank you guys. If you ever leave me a comment anywhere, like whether it's YouTube, a TikTok, an Instagram post, like whatever, comments everywhere. I read them all, I see them all. And it really was like making me think. I was like outside the other night talking with my neighbor girls about my job and just like how like crazy sometimes it can be and but also like how amazing it is and to the people that leave me positive reinforcement and support me and are just so kind about like sky and like even just saying how like something so little just brightens my whole day like it makes my whole day i say this all the time but my love language is sports of affirmation i love to tell people exactly how i feel um when it's something good and i love to like hear it as well obviously your love language is so important when it comes to i'm gonna set this down because i want to talk about this for a second um obviously 
your love language is so important when it comes to your relationship and like being able to read each other's love languages and being able to not only like receive that love language but to give that love language as well and i find that like my best friends in life and my closest friendships are ones who speak my love language and it's really crazy when you step back and like look at your relationships and your friendships like how much that means to you and like my best friends in life are like constantly like supporting me picking me up telling me things that like they don't need to probably say brent and i like we do it all the time we just like talk so highly to each other and i think it's so important you guys leave me these positive comments it like really hits me right here and it makes me think like wow the per this person took this time out of their day to say such beautiful things and it just doesn't go unnoticed and i just wanted to tell you guys that because i genuinely am so grateful for every single thing you've ever left on my things and just know that i love you and i love reading everything so thank you love you and see you in my next vlog bye